bet you it has well nothing to questions. do with the previous Jiskel Guado dude. Yeah, I don't. I don't see that at all. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. So let's see what he thought of his son for real. It's not this bullshit that you told us. I am about to tell you is the unclouded truth. I swear it on my honor as a Guado. Listen to me very carefully, for I shall tell you the truth about my son Seymour. His mind is closed even to me, a maester of Yevon. But I can feel flames of darkness burning in his heart. He is using Yevon, the Guado, and even the summoners. If he is not stopped, he will surely bring destruction and chaos to Spira. I will leave this world soon, killed by my own son. But I do not fault him, because I was not wise enough. He has suffered and become twisted. I could not protect him and his mother from the world and its cruelty. I will accept death as punishment for my deeds. But whoever is watching this, I implore you to stop Seymour. Stop my son. So up to this point, we don't really know all the stuff Seymour's been doing other than it seems kind of shady. But yeah. now we know. But now we know. God. Without us. No. Where you going? It's like, why didn't you just you put your son out of your, his Seymour's misery before? News. Now you gotta make us deal but with him? Nah, fine. Probably Stay because you loved him or something like that. Come on, Waka. Let's at least hear him out. This yeah, we'll hear happening. him out long enough to punch him in the face. Yeah, and say, bad, bad Seymour. <laughs> That's a bad Seymour. That's a bad Seymour. <laughs> Take a ruler and just hit his <laughs> hand with it. Bad Seymour. <laughs> Don't you dare be using those summoners in Yevon like that! How dare you! Now, is there another treasure in the other room on the other side? I don't remember. Mm, there might be. I'll just take a quick gander. Um, yep, there's a treasure chest. What's in it? Phoenix Downs. Good stuff. Alright, into the cloister. Oh, man. I'm very. I always worry when I got to these cloisters, but we don't got to do it quite yet. Spoiler alert: we get to skip this cloister. Yay! Yay! Because the plot demands it. Because Kimari's who needs puzzles ahead. when Go. your booty is about to be married right. off to some douche? We will protect. You I think that's fair enough. From exactly. anyone. Fuck. <laughs> Titus is Even like fuck the puzzle. I got to get my woman. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Although I guess you could think of it happening. as technically this puzzle's already done, you if just get to walk across fault, the bridge. Must be done. Yeah. The way it's set up. Yeah. Exactly. It'd be funny if you could accidentally reset the puzzle as you walk through here like shit. <laughs> 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 it'd be shitty, but it'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause that, you can hella do that when you actually do the puzzle. <laughs> that's that's the funny thing. Yeah, <laughs> I think I've done it before. And uh, like, I shit. know I have. <laughs> anyway, let's confront this bitch. Please be silent. Lady Yuna prays to the faith. Make me. Make me. I think Seymour's voice actor is perfect because he's just so arrogant sounding. Yeah, I like the, and I think it's a bit creepy as well. Yeah, I think it's like it just, works it's well. It's like an unemotional voice where he's just like. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Oh, but why? We saw Jiskel's spear. You killed him. You killed what him. It? Now we kill you, Lady Yuna. Certainly you knew of these things, did you not? <laughs> well then, why have you come here? I came... <sighs> I came to stop you. I see. You 
came to punish me then. Keep your gross hands away from me. <laughs> <laughs> What a pity. Ah, of course. Protect the summoner even at the cost of one's life. The code of the guardian. How admirable. Well, if you're offering your lives, I will have to take them. You will try. Mr. Seymour, I trust my guardians with my life, but they are also my friends. I will not stand by and watch them be hurt. I will fight you too. Yeah, you tell that asshole. All right. Mr. Seymour. <laughs> I mean, Titus like, "All oh, so right." Yeah. Ah, man. Titus's voice actually just sucks. <laughs> it just does. All right, time to throw down with Seymour. This punk ass, one of the most annoying battles in the game. Oh my god. Oh no. I still remember this battle from the first time I ever did it. These fucking guados that he's fighting with on oh the my sides God. are they're so such, fucking irritating. They're such douches. Alright, anyway, um, I think I'm going to start by doing these side trigger command things where you actually talk, because it's actually helpful. And it's funny. Yeah, also funny. I knew you were bad news the first time we met. Oh. My sincerest apologies. <laughs> Seymour! Seymour! <laughs> yeah, free strength. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Alright, and then you can also off. talk. Let's see what she has to say. You may be a maester, but I will still fight. Your eyes, they burn with resolve. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, got some magic defense. And does Waka have one too? I think Waka has one, right? Um, yeah, he does. I think Waka also has one. Let's go ahead and get them all out of the way right away here. Maester, we must stop this! Ah, this can't be happening! It's weird that Waka has one because he's the one like complaining and yet he still gets a boost. Yeah. Like, I always wondered, like, how much does it actually boost, like, point-wise? Um, Maybe I don't know. Maybe by a couple? It doesn't tell you, so... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, one tip I didn't know that you could do in this battle, which I now know about, is if you steal from these Guados, they can't heal anymore. Did you know this? Yeah, I've known it for, like... I never knew that. I've, I've known it for a while. I never knew that. By the way, if you attack Seymour during this sequence, they will heal him automatically, if I didn't say that already. It's very irritating. That's why I used to hate this battle. But, uh, yeah. So basically the best strategy is to take them out first. But what you can also do to negate their healing is just fucking uh, steal from them. And it'll make it so they can't heal. Um, what am I going to do here? Let's see. Um, I used all my overdrives, damn it. Um, let's get Titus back out here. Why has Yuna got to be confused? Stop it. Alright, let's get confusion off Yuna real quick. This is a very quick start to a battle where I have done zero damage so far. This is good, this is good. Busy doing all this talking. The one good thing is I'm like super overpowered here, so it really doesn't matter. I'm already way too overleveled. I kinda wonder like... Oh. Like, we know that Seymour is basically fucked in the head, but what what's with his minions? Are they like brainwashed or what? Um good question probably or they're just like they're just like the religious nuts who follow him because he's a maester maybe mm, maybe because like even the i mean it wasn't really it hasn't really been given away yet but even back when like the operation Meehan happened and keynock was there and he's a maester it seems like he's pretty shady too so i mean well, I'm, yeah it, it, i mean for all we know it could be going pretty deep into the whole into the the infrastructure of yevon <laughs> <gasps> But the we'll plot. get to that later. We'll get to that later. <laughs> uh huh. So yeah, Seymour just likes to alternate through all the elements. One good strategy you could use here potentially is to keep using all the null elements. But personally, I don't usually do that unless I'm 
having trouble with this, which I'm not going to, so not worried about it. He uses like the the Dara spells, doesn't he? Like yeah, Thunder Rush. He uses all the auras, and he does them in a specific pattern, so you could just straight up block them the whole time. I'm gonna go ahead and use Kimari's Ronso Rage because why not? Because he's pissed off. <laughs> Let's just. I don't know which one. I don't even know which one to use. Let's just use Jump. <laughs> I never know which one to use because they're all so useless. Yeah, same. <laughs> I mean, I have not found one instance where I would want to use the self destruct. Oh, I know. Exactly. Not That's one. just one example of why the fuck does that exist. Because basically, <laughs> they should relabel that move uh, minus one character. Because you can only use two characters in that in that combat then. Yeah. I mean, how worthless is that? Yeah, exactly. Also, I already did enough damage to make him summon his Aeon. What the hell? That was fast. Oh, no! No! Not, not Anima. Shit! Freaking Titus, dude. Because of all those strength spears I put on him, I am doing ridiculous amounts of damage right now, by the way. <laughs> I just hit Seymour for 4,000. <laughs> this boss is ridiculous. Yuna! The new Aeon! Yuna! The new Aeon! Why are you, Yuna's not even here, bro? Anyway, did everybody get a turn yet? I don't think I got Lulu a turn in here yet. Oh, that's right. She got a new Aeon, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Titus said Yuna the new Aeon because she got a new Aeon. Maybe we should try it out. And I think I'm going to do that, but... Uh, wink, wink. I think you should. What? I think you should. Wink, wink. Oh, no, I will. I was already planning on it. I just forgot to that I didn't have Lulu take a turn yet. It's alright, Lulu does a good amount of damage, it's fine, it's fine. Let's see, what Aeon did you get? I forgot, honestly. Well, we'll have to find out in just a moment. Oh shit, Titus got killed, damn. No! Whatever, it's not gonna matter, we're summoning an Aeon. Let me huh. Titus doesn't matter. No, not really. He, re Dude, at this point, he doesn't, dude. Anyway, let's summon question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, and see who it is. But seriously, Titus really doesn't matter at this point because I, I, his sphere grid is so far ahead of everyone because of the fucking strength spheres. Like, it's not even fair. You used the one that you got from the uh, Blitzball tournament, didn't you? The what? Where'd you get those strength spheres from? From dodging the lightning, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's I right, got that's three right. extra ones. Yeah, I forgot you did Ridiculous. that. Ridiculous. So anyway, yeah, uh, um, we got Shiva, dude. Shiva's the shit, and god oh, damn. Yeah. And god damn. And she has nice polygons. I think we're past polygons at this point. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. Should we use boost here or not? I think you're just supposed to attack. Because I think Anima is just boosting the whole time. I can't remember. Is he, like, not weak against any particular element? No, I don't think he's weak to any elements. I think you're just supposed to hit him and try to get your overdrive. Let's just use Heavenly Strike just so I can show you what it does. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, he's immune to elements and stuff. I thought as much. And status effects and all that stuff. That actually did pretty good damage. Let's just do that. Isn't he supposed to hit us with a counterattack? I don't there. think he counters, does he? Well, he uses pain, but I don't know when he uses yeah. it. Like... He's just using his turn to boost right now. Well, he just did boost. Maybe I should use, use something else so it doesn't help him boost faster. I always thought, like, pain, like, caused internal damage or something like that. Like, when um, he used the move. Like, he hurts himself and hurts you? I don't know. Like, it's weird. I mean, even just the look of Anima kind of disturbs me. Well, yeah, Anima is like a fucking creepy thing. Alright, that worked. He used pain on me, and I didn't attack him when he was boosting, so his his thing didn't go up faster. Hooray. And in turn, he helped me boost faster, so that worked out nicely. You doing good damage against him now? Um, yeah. Yeah, she was pretty strong, actually. Well, I think part of it's because, like I said, I'm a little overleveled, so Yuna's... I'm pretty sure Yuna's Sphere Grid is how you make your Aeon stronger, right? Yeah, so... uh, the Aeon's parameters are based on Yuna's yeah, exactly. like, core stats. So, like, you know, all my Aeons are already pretty good. Makes sense. Anyway, I'm trying to get Shiva to learn. 
or learn to get this overdrive because I think this overdrive might finish this bitch off. Well, depending on where we are. But yeah, that kind of makes me wonder, like, what if Yuna was down Orin's like tree path? If Yuna the went down Orin's, the oh, Aeons Lord. would be fucking broken. <laughs> oh jeez, you could just physical attack. You wouldn't even have to use magic. <laughs> I wonder if someone has done that. Alright. Here comes the overdrive. Biatch. I'm gonna heal first, though. And even after I use my overdrive, if it doesn't die, and Shiva does die, we can finish this bitch off real easy. Yeah. And don't think this is over once you defeat Anima, by the way. Of course it isn't. Because why would it be that easy? And, you know, it's not like... Seymour is still standing right there. Yeah, they're not, like, tied by an invisible life force or anything. Exactly. By the way, Diamond Dust. That's Shiva's move. It's from forever and uh, forever. That's always been her move since forever. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I played Final Fantasy VI and she had Diamond Dust, so... It's been Diamond Dust since... Well, kind of before that, they didn't have names. They just called it the name of the summon. But... Oh, I just remember it from six. Damn! 9999, bitch! Overkill! Damn. Overkill! Son... You don't want to mess with Shiva. I got a trophy for that because that's the first time I've done 999. Nice. Nice. It will be mine. Won't be the last. All right. Well, I'm thinking I'm just gonna whoop your ass with Shiva. Why even get Shiva out of here? Oh, what a dumbass! He did Blizzard on Shiva. What a dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great move. That is hilarious. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking heavenly strike you in the face. I certainly hope everybody got a turn. I think so. I can't think of anybody who didn't get a turn. I don't really care at this point. I Like I said, I'm overleveled. I don't give a shit I'm on a boss. <laughs> yeah. Die, see more butts. If we get rid of him now, we'll never have to worry about him after this, right? Right? Right. Right. Anyway, he defeated Shiva. Sad story. Yeah, it's I think okay. I'm gonna cry. It's okay. <laughs> I like how the party runs back out after the summon, and Titus immediately just faints again because he's dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's, I always thought that was funny. That's too. hilarious. I could have her summon another Aeon for fun. We could. I have I have some of them ready to go with overdrives. Um, maybe whip out a little Ray Mysterio. All right. As per request, Rey Mysterio is on the way. <clears throat> Time to get fucked up. You know, one thing I I, t I talked about earlier in Let's Play, I really didn't know about that uh, that other um, overdrive that you can get for mis for Mysterios. I yeah, I, never I think knew I about. learned it from uh, Tim actually. Oh yeah. Or maybe I looked it up. I don't remember. Yeah, is that actually in the original PS2? I guess it is if he did it. The, the the other overdrive? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, see, I didn't... I, if I would have known that back then, I hell would have known it. Yeah, Energy Blast is on the PS2 version. Huh. I'm surprised I did know about it, because I know the second time I played this game, I definitely looked, like, everything up. Oh, anyway, yeah. I, I overkill that. on Seymour. Second time I play an RPG. First time, it's just for, you know, grins. And second time, it's like, I'm going to step it up a bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's watch Seymour be defeated. That's right, Seymour. What you got? What you got? Nothing. Yuna, send him! <laughs> Yuna, you would pity me now? Damn right, Seymour. You got fucked up. And he lays there like Jesus. Arms like spread. Jesus. <laughs> Guado Jesus. Quick, Yuna, send him! I'm surprised Arn doesn't say that, like, right away. Lord Seymour! Lord Seymour! What oh, oh, no. Uh, this is a good example of why Trommel's voice is so perfect. What have I done? <clears throat> Wait a minute, it's not our fault at all! <clears throat> it's not our fault at all! I didn't kill him, I swear! I didn't do it. <laughs> you did this? <laughs> Yuna, send him. There he goes. Now he says, Yuna, send him. No, stop! Stay away from him, traitors! 
Stay away from the Seymour! Oh god. Not that again. <laughs> Stay away from the summoner! <laughs> well, it works because he's a summoner, summoner also. We're finished. Yeah. Sorta. Now hold on just a minute. Seymour's the bad guy, right? We'll just explain to everyone what happened. Oh yeah, they're gonna believe that, be that Titus. <laughs> let's get out of here. Yeah, it's like, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's go. Probably shouldn't be hanging around in a Yevon temple, and now Yevon's gonna be mad at us for killing a maester. <laughs> Probably oh, not no. the best idea. Oh no. Whoa. What do special spheres do? I don't remember. Oh, uh... Like, like you know, the specials, like, steal and use? Like, That's what it lets you do. It, it lets you activate abilities. Oh, they let you activate just a bit, like just automatically learn them. Yeah, like like you don't have to move to them. I think so. Because I know there's the black magic and the white magic. Yeah, yeah, ones. yeah. This, this special fear, I think it lets you uh, do it like get an ability that's outside of what you can actually reach. Okay, cool. Yeah. Also, what are we gonna name Shiva? Oh boy, I don't. I had an idea. I was just gonna call her Stone Cold, but that won't fit, man. <laughs> Stupid eight characters. St Bullshit. Yeah, they should. They should have made that longer. Even just nine. I could fit Stone Cold if it was nine. Mm. Well, I don't know shit about wrestling. Because so then she could be the decide. Stone Cold bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's not why. I mean, Stone Cold Steve Austin. But even so, Stone Cold would be so perfect. But no, the game won't let me. So I gotta go with something else. Damn it. Um, I'm, 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 I did not plan this one ahead of time. I should have. Uh, is, is there a wrestler that has bitch in the name or? Mm, there probably is, but not in like famous wrestling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> like if you go to those ones, like all women wrestling. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure there's plenty of bitches in there. Um. Yeah. Shit. I think I'm just gonna call her one of the women wrestlers that I used to like. I don't really have any other ideas. Um. Yeah, let's just call her Stratus. That's after my favorite re my favorite women's wrestler, Trish Stratus. Look her up; she's hot. I was about to say her name already sounds sexy. Dude, that name, Trish Stratus. How do you not go? Ooh, who's that? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna look it up right now. I'm actually. not even kidding, dude. Look that bitch up. She is the. the sh I still have dreams. <laughs> Trish. All right, I'm gonna Stratus. save it real quick, and then we're gonna go back out the motherfucking temple. <sighs> actually, where are we at on time? Where did Damn, I start? are you sure she wrestles? Uh, she doesn't wrestle anymore. Damn. And she, before she was a wrestler, she was a fitness model, so that's probably what you're looking at. <laughs> I, I can, yeah, I can see uh, all the right curves. Exactly. You know what? You know, what? let's do this temple now. I, if you want to keep going, are you good with keep going? Yeah, that's fine. We can right. do I, I don't know how much longer you want to ride along. It's up to you. You can do the temple. All right. So, as I said, we weren't going to have to do the fucking cloister trials well as we start to cross the bridge to get the fuck out of here. Psych. Give me a break. That's what I'm saying. Give me a fucking break, man. Thought we were going to get away without doing a cloister trials. Not. <sighs> so, we get to do cloister trials backwards. Not really, but from the other side to get the fuck out of here. All right, let's see if I remember how to do this shit. This is the one positive side is I don't have to worry about battles. I always like that. This is not what we want. Where is? I don't remember where all the spheres are. Oh, there it is. Glyph sphere. That's what I want first. That's one of the more annoying temples, I think. Yes, I hate this one. This one used to piss me off. Lucky for me, I do have a guide go to follow along with, just for help for to take make yeah, to not make this take forever. Oh, like your notes that you always yeah. like that praise I, that I try to subtly refer to. <laughs> oh, so subtly. I had to start doing that with some of my games, actually. Um, yeah. I had oh, to. To I mean to do that here. Hold on. When I was playing Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, I had to have notes to make the ultimate weapon. Well, yeah. I, I figure if I'm gonna play a game I already know, I better go through it at least semi-efficiently. So I better just have some notes. It, which took me like a fucking week, but I finally made it. Wait, I think I just pushed that the wrong way. Or did I? 
Hold on. <laughs> I think I pushed that the wrong way. <laughs> oh no. I don't think I was supposed to push that, push that pillar off the ledge, was I? <laughs> no, I was not. Uh, I was no. supposed to push it this way. That doesn't seem right either. Why does that not seem right? Oh, I know what's happening here. Can't we get the pillar to like... You have to make... Uh, the ice pillars, you push the pillar and the ice, like, stops it. Oh! Oh, 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 No, no, I know exactly, I, I think I know exactly what I'm doing wrong now. Or, oh, man, what the hell? I thought you were supposed to push this first, like, uh, pedestal into the ice to make it break. You are. Is there, like, a... What the fuck's it called? Stalactite of ice? Like, to the right of the pillar? Yeah. Yeah, you push it there, and then you push it north so it goes down that slope. Okay. Oh, I... Oh, I... Never mind, I'm stupid. I see what I'm doing wrong. I forgot to push it north and then to the east. I, I'm just pushing it east like, oh, yeah, that's supposed to hit the ice. Perspective, it's the best. Hooray for perspective. Push the goddamn fucking... Uh, push it! <laughs> no, seriously. Push the damn thing. There you go. No, that didn't do it either. What the f... Are you kidding me right now? You want me to Google... You want me to Google it? I should... No, dude. This, this is not... This is not happening. <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? Oh. Never mind. I'm dumb. Okay, I, like I had the stupid sphere in my hand and the pillar, and just ignore my dumbness. I got it. I got it. Everything is now figured out. I was being dumb. Very, very dumb. Keep telling that to you, too. All right. Apparently, I don't know the difference between east and west. That's what I get for being left handed. Oh, damn. <laughs> I don't know how to help you with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It is. It, I have heard that it's true that left and right hand, or when you're left-handed, it's harder to distinguish between left and right because people are mostly right-handed. So, like when somebody says left to me, sometimes I'll think right, or well, I mean, when they think right to me, I think left because left is my good hand, you know? No, not really. I don't well, know what you're talking about. Well, if you're left-handed, then you would know. But then again, I'm right-handed. So exactly. Maybe that's why. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we can grab this glyph sphere again. God damn, this is this is already taking longer than it needed to take. All right, whatever. Let's just get it done. That makes the pillar go up, which reveals another Macalania sphere. Now what? Let's go grab that Macalania sphere. And then we can take that. Oop, 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 no, 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 no. Take that and put it back down here, I believe. I'm wondering what they're doing outside of the cloister trials right now. Yeah, really though. I mean, I imagine like, they're are, just. Are they get Are they getting their pitchforks and you know torches well, ready? Well, I mean, they gotta get dra they gotta drag Seymour somewhere to show them to somebody first. There's not like telephones. All right. Although word of mouth does spread pretty fast around this place. As yeah. I was walking back to freaking get all those jex spheres pretty much everyone in the game is like oh did you hear you did Zemor are getting married i was like god damn all the way back on beset what the fuck god damn how do you know this <laughs> what's with all the gossip seriously fucking word of mouth man all right i think i remember the rest of this put this one here and it'll freeze this other pillar because the object here is to freeze all the pillars to get the bridge to reform i know that yeah. But I gotta make sure I get the goddamn destruction sphere while I'm doing this. Just gotta remember how to get it. You can't get it till after you make the bridge up here though, right? Um Wait, I believe I, so. Do I need the glyph sphere for anything? Or am I done? You with need it? to like the platform that's on the, the bottom half, you have to raise that up. Wait, put the plat wait. Using a glyph sphere, I believe. And that'll really... That'll... You know where the destruction sphere is, right? I know where it is. It's up on that. It's up. It's over here on this, like, ice pillar thing. Yeah, it's like about four feet, you know, off the ground on uh -huh. that ice pillar. Yeah. 
you have to take a uh, pillar and put it at the top and slide it down on one of the glyph things. There has to be, I think, a glyph sphere in that thing in order for it to push it onto where the destruction sphere is. Yeah, I think I remember that. I'm just trying to remember how to get to that point because I know I'm. there's a step in here that I might be missing. What does this one do when you put an ice sphere there? Hold on, let me go through my notes, make sure I'm following this correctly. <laughs> I know you push the thing over here with the with the Makalani sphere to freeze the first pillar, which I already did. Yeah. And then you go back up and grab it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Huh. Why is there Am I supposed to leave the glyph sphere down here? I don't think so. I think I have to take the glyph sphere back up there with me, right? To complete the puzzle or get the destruction sphere? Just at all. I shouldn't leave it down in the bottom area. No, you shouldn't. Okay. That's what I was, like, trying to remember. Okay, so I was doing this partially, right? I just wanted to make sure I didn't leave the glyph sphere behind. Because I remember, I seem to remember, you finish the puzzle, then you can get the destruction sphere, and then you gotta redo the puzzle again, right? Something like that, yeah. It's fucking garbage, I remember that. That's why it's super annoying. <laughs> it's inconvenient, therefore it fucking sucks. Exactly. Fucking inconvenient as shit, you gotta redo the puzzle twice. Great mentality. Yeah, okay, so now you get the little ding ding ding, you did it. And then the fucking thing pops up, okay, now I'm remembering. Okay. And you grab the glyph sphere, okay, we got this, we got this. When's, I'm just curious, when's the last time you played this game? Oh boy, that is a very good question. I was trying to figure that out when I started the Let's Play. I I honestly don't remember when I last played this, but it's probably been since I would say within the first couple of years that it came out. Wait, you haven't played it for like ten years? At least. Holy fuck. At least. Damn, I just played this fucker, you know, last year when the HD remaster came out. Exactly, man. I I got the. I mean, if you think about it, I. I played this game not right when it came out, but probably like like within the year that it first came out, maybe after like the first year. And then right. I like only played it a little bit, and then I got my cousin to get it, and my friend bought it also, so I had two ways to play it. And so I eventually got to play through the whole game, because I never owned a PS2, so I had to play other people's. Right. Um, anyway, yeah. Damn. Oh shit! I just realized what I just did wrong. Fuck my. Not life. not too bad for ten year old for ten year old you know like time between. I know. I just fucked this shit up, dude. This sucks. Oh no. <laughs> I I don't think I fucked it up completely yet, but I have to, I still have to refinish the puzzle. But I I forgot you have to have the glyph sphere on the pedestal. Son of a bitch. It still had the stupid Makalani sphere on there when I pushed it, so it fucking. It, it can only hold one sphere yeah, on the I, I uh, saw pillar, can it? The Makalani yeah. sphere is now up on that damn pillar, and I can't get it. I have to get it back. Because <laughs> I remember some of them can actually hold two at one time. Yeah, yeah, this one now. All right, there we go. We're going to get our freaking <laughs> Makalani sphere back. It's the only way to recomplete this stupid bridge, damn it. All right. Now we got to reset up everything so we can get the stupid thing back down there. God damn it. But at least I got my destruction sphere. Got my destruction sphere. That's all I was really going for. Now you get to watch me do the puzzle again. Well, I don't. Well, okay. You will later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I see it on YouTube. You will later. Leave a comment saying, "Who's that other guy that's talking to you?" You Speaking sound like of that, an idiot. We should probably mention that I also did some co-commentary with him on his let's play. We didn't talk oh, yeah. about your let's play that you're doing right now. What are you doing right now? I am doing Final Fantasy V Blind. And which those of you who've watched me play all the games know that I absolutely adore Final Fantasy V mostly because of the job system it's rather interesting yep um plot wise it's a bit odd so far but give it time yeah I, I it can't be as weird as 4 was for me so I would say it, I don't know it, the fact that it kind of you go into a whole other world which is where you're at right now that's the mm -hmm. part where it's it, it kind of feels more like five at that point because or four, because um, just the fact that it has like you're in another world and four you go to the moon, 
I know that's a little bit more far-fetched, but even so. Yeah. I also heard you go to the moon in 8. Yes. Oh, or you don't go to the moon, you just go to space. Oh, okay, you go to space. Like, you just like go to a space station, and then you're only there for, like, a very space, short amount of time. Space Leon. I don't know, man. I love 8, too, so... <laughs> 8's, like, my favorite in the series. I gotta play it more than eight hours. Well, if you... Yeah, from the beginning, it can seem very slow, so I can understand why people kind of give up on it early, but, man, it gets so good. I'm prepared this time, because I have a fucking strategy guide. That's always helpful. <laughs> Especially if your strategy guide, and you're actually gonna do all the card game. Because the card game is fucking awesome. Also, I forgot to do the Destruction Sphere thing. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, do that. Because the reward uh, is worth it. Yeah. I, I, I'm I pretty sure you just have to put it on the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I just almost forgot to do it. I was like, oh shit, I don't want to leave without doing it. That was the whole point of doing this twice. Dummy. Put it right here, I believe. And finally... Boom! Treasure revealed. Jesus Christ. Okay. What is it? Better be worth it. Final Master Link said so, so it better be worth it. I know everything. Lux Sphere! Hell yeah! Yeah! I still haven't even used the first one I got. <laughs> so much luck, you'll probably win the lottery now. Dude, you don't even know right now. I don't. <laughs> but trust me. One day. One day. And now, I believe we're finally fucking done with this place. <laughs> uh, it hurts. Alright. Well, that was an episode just doing the fucking temple. <laughs> yep. Nah, not quite, but pretty close. Yeah, oh, and, and fucking trust me, do not step on that fucking button again. You will have to do it all over again. <laughs> That's the worst. You don't want that to happen in your life. Ever. No. <laughs> I've done it. It sucks. Alright, we're done here. Now, let's hope people don't lynch us. Hey, people, how you doing? Please. Trommel, what's going on? Give us a chance to explain. No need. I already know what I'll tell the other maesters. Meaning? Lord Seymour was the leader of the Guado before becoming a maester. You're not letting us go. Let you go? Lord Seymour would never forgive us if we did. He can't forgive you if he's dead. Wait, wait. Just go I agree. We can show it to them. You mean this? Ah, oh, fucking trauma. Hey. You mean this sphere right Lord here? Crush! What an idiot. <laughs> oh, wait. I like how Kimari's the first one to respond. Because, like, I thought that was a Ronso saying, let Ronso deal with the Ronso. But then Trommel's like, let Guado deal with the Guado. That's Owaka, that's, what the fuck are you doing here? She has really gone in just, also, that, that's appears just, out of nowhere and shit. <laughs> I find that to be a stupid, you know, excuse. Oh, l let them deal with their own shit? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I believe there's a safe point right here, and I think this is probably as good a place as any to stop, because this, this next sequence is kind of long, so... Yes. Alright. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X... We're gonna go run away from the Guados who are gonna start chasing us the fuck out of here. I know we're so urgent just standing here waiting at the save point. Anyway, I want to thank Final Master Link for joining me on his, uh, or with this, uh, Seymour Butts part of the game, which he requested. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and, uh, see you guys next time. Peace.